You're listening to God's Plan Radio. Do not give up. The beginning is always the hardest. Here's your host, Russ Conway. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to your Tuesday's Daily Devotion. I am your podcaster, Russ Conway. I hope y'all are having a great Tuesday today. Uh, We actually have a special daily devotion today because not only am I broadcasting live on our website, I've even got a video cam hooked up today too. So you'll be able to actually watch a behind the scenes with me here and also doing the daily devotion. So I hope y'all are ready for today. Uh, Yesterday being Monday, it's over with. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I was glad for Monday to be over with. Uh, Today is Tuesday, and we've got three more days to go for the rest of this week, and then we will be finished for those who have the Monday through Friday. For those who don't, definitely listen to our podcast daily, because we will offer you some motivational and words of encouragement as well, too. Today, we're going to take a little bit of a detour from our normal Billy Graham uh, daily devotion. I found something else here by uh, Mr. Rufus Parker from Morning Manna, and I wanted to just kind of break it up a little bit and do something different, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, the scripture we're going to be reading from today is from 2 Timothy 1.7. Um, if you have your Bibles there or if not, you can just listen, whichever is easier for you. It says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Today's morsel is, what is your greatest fear? What things are you hiding that you are afraid someone else will find out about you? What fear do you have that prevents you from getting a good night's sleep? What fear are you worried about being revealed to your coworkers, peers, saints, or pastor? To overcome fear, we must not be afraid to identify it and to ask for help in dealing with it. God said, let's reason together, Isaiah 118. The best person to talk about any fear is Jesus. John said that if you do not identify your fears, they will continue to torment you. See 1 John 4.18. Keeping your fear suppressed will only cause you inward pain and hurt. You don't have to be ashamed to confess your fears. Fear doesn't come from God, but from the enemy of your soul. Jesus desires to give you a sound mind that overcomes the torment of the enemy. Sing this song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, or All Our Sins and Griefs to Bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Fear is simply false evidence appearing real. So just keep that in mind today as you're going throughout your workplace, your home, whatever it is. If you have fear in your life or you're afraid, don't forget, you know, Jesus is there with you. He's going to get you through this problem. Um, I know when I first moved down to Jacksonville uh, to my first uh, apartment, it was a studio and uh, it was kind of funny, you know, being on my own for the first time and I'm sitting there in bed and I, I hear this noise and my first thought is it sounds like somebody's pushing a wheelbarrow down the stairs. I'm thinking, what in the world's going on? And for the longest time, I mean, I was I was afraid. I wouldn't go outside after 9 o'clock at night because I had this vision of some man pushing a wheelbarrow down the, tra- or the, the, the steps at 10 o'clock at night. Why? I don't know. I just... That was the first thought that came to my mind. And and one night, you know, when my uh, wife and her family were visiting, I heard that sound. And she heard it too. I'm thinking, do you hear that? I'm not going crazy. And I finally got enough courage to open up that door and I walked outside to look. Uh, only reason why I had courage is because everybody else was there. So I <laughs> come to find out that sound I heard every night was a helicopter flying overhead. And, uh, you know, the, the, the minds play a huge factor on your body and your soul and it plays tricks on you. So uh, that's why the Bible says you have to have a sound mind. So keep yourself focused today. Hope this daily devotion uh, uplifts you. Hopefully the video uh, that you'll be able to watch on YouTube later on will uplift you and kind of give you a behind the scenes view of it is. Uh, Hopefully I will be able to continue to make it through this week with this borrowed laptop and uh, headphones. If you can watch the video chat, you'll see what headphones I'm talking about. It's just standard old iPhone headphones. Uh, My microphone and my other headset are uh, out of commission until I get my laptop back. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's uh, podcast. You can listen to it later on our website, godsplanradio.com. Click on the Listen Now button. Can't talk. The Listen Now button. It'll take you back to our recording studio's website where you can listen to all the tracks. Plus last night we even had a guest star, Mr. Javier Roman was on. Uh, the uh, phones with us last night. We were talking about his album, Hallelujah. We've got his uh, his website on our website. You can go and click Affiliates, and then you'll be able to see everybody that's affiliated with our podcast, and you can go to their website by clicking on their logo. I hope you all are liking the changes that are coming to our website. We're trying to upbeat it, uplift it, 
we're trying to motivate the website to do what we want it to do. So just bear with us while we're making some changes. We do appreciate your patience in this process. Uh, but just if you have any questions, anything whatsoever, don't hesitate to uh, contact us. And hopefully here the next few days, we will be able to take calls on our daily devotion. So if you want to actually call into the daily devotion while we're broadcasting live uh, from 11, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can actually call in and maybe give a shout out or if you have questions or something, or maybe if you want to listen in on a daily devotion and, and just kind of chime in and give your own little feedback, whatever is easiest for you or whatever you'd like to do, we're going to make it to where God uplifts you. And that's the whole point. So y'all have a great Tuesday. I will see y'all tomorrow on our Wednesday's daily devotion. This is Russ Conway signing out.